Access Lex Institute is a nonprofit organization committed to helping talented, purpose driven students find their path from aspiring lawyer to fulfilled professional. In partnership with our nearly 200 member law schools, improving access and positively influencing legal education have been at the heart of our organization's mission since 1983. We have a DC office where we do public policy, advocacy work, fund research, and analyze data related to legal education, and a field team that travels around the country delivering financial literacy information at law schools and undergraduate institutions. We're a nonprofit and everything we do is free to you. My name is Rachel Patterson and I'm the Director of Programs for Diversity at Access Lex. I work with students and law school administrators in an effort to increase diversity in legal education. Prior to joining Access Lex, I worked in law school admissions. I've read hundreds of applications and I am eager to share my knowledge with you today in your quest to attend law school. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to describe the characteristics of a strong personal statement, diversity statement, optional essay, resume, and addenda. Let's talk about the characteristics of a strong application. Applications are reviewed holistically. Every single document you submit is reviewed by one or more people. It can be helpful to think of your application in thirds. One third of the review often involves your highest LSAT or GRE score. One third involves your undergraduate GPA. And one third involves everything else, which includes your personal statement, optional essay, resume, letters of recommendation, and addendum. It is important that you look at yourself objectively prior to and during the law school application process. So we've already talked about the LSAT and undergraduate GPA in part one, so let's talk about that final third of the process, the everything else. Before we do that, let's take a step back and talk about your application as a whole. Think of your application as a narrative. Your GPA, LSAT, and often your letters of recommendation tell us information about your academic narrative. How are you as a student? How are you as a test taker? But you are more than your score. You may have work experiences and or other life experiences that are really integral to who you are and who you want to become. Now let's talk about the personal statement. The personal statement allows you to expand your narrative to include information that cannot be fully captured by other areas of your application. A personal statement is required by all law schools and is a critically important part of your application. Here, you can share information about what motivates you, what interests you, what experiences have shaped who you are and who you want to become. The personal statement also helps the committee see the quality of your writing. Now that we know what a personal statement is and why it's important, let's review the characteristics of a strong personal statement with a list of do's and don'ts. Do review the prompt. Some law schools have a narrower personal statement prompt than others. Before you begin drafting your personal statement, review the prompts at schools on your list. Do plan to draft and revise your essay three to six times. The early drafts may help you hit upon your most important ideas and provide some good details that you want to include. As you get very clear on your essay's theme and essential points, it is much easier to cut words and to polish individual sentences. Do pay attention to specific requirements. Some law schools have specific requirements relating to font, page limits, spacing, etc. After you create your personal statement, before you submit it to various schools, make sure you review the application requirements to ensure your personal statement is aligned. Thousands of students are applying to law school, and you want to ensure that your application is as strong as it can be. Small errors can sometimes be deal breakers. Do tell your best story. Each of us has various stories, narratives about who we are, where we come from, and what we've endured, what we're passionate about, and why we want to go to law school. Think of your application as a space to share your narrative. Your LSAT and undergraduate GPA help the committee to understand your academic narrative. Who are you as a student? But there are other chapters to your story. Tell your best one. Do avoid duplication. Ensure that the narrative you share is not duplicative of information being shared in the optional essay, diversity statement, or addendum. As an example, students often wonder, is it okay for me to talk about diversity in my personal statement and also in the diversity statement? Absolutely, but the content can and should be different. Do discuss possible topics with your pre-law advisor beforehand. Take the time to brainstorm before you begin writing. Brainstorm, outline, draft, then redraft. 
Think through potential topics and discuss them with your pre-law advisor or another trusted advisor. Do ensure you are the focus. Make sure that you are truly the focal point of the essay. So often, people submit personal statements where they write extensively about someone else, perhaps someone who inspired them, or they write about the extensive curriculum at a particular law school and how they want to study with Professor X. If you spend most of the essay talking about all of the professors you hope to take classes with from School Z, the focus of the essay is no longer on you. It is about the curriculum. Help the reader know who you are. Do utilize a strong opening sentence to grab the reader's attention. Remember that admissions committee members are often reading hundreds and sometimes thousands of applications. Grab the reader's attention with a solid opening sentence, but use your best judgment to make your application stand out in a good way. Remember, you are applying to professional school. Do ask trusted advisors to review your personal statement. The extent to which you can reach out to academic advisors, pre-law advisors, college professors, family members and friends, particularly those who are familiar with the law school admissions process and or have a keen attention to detail, particularly for grammatical mistakes, sentence structure, etc., do so. It is helpful to have more than one person review your personal statement multiple times. Do ask yourself, what are the takeaways? Before, during, and after you draft your personal statement, ask yourself what are the three to five takeaways you want the reader to have about you. Then read your personal statement and ask yourself and your trusted advisors what were their takeaways. It is incredibly important to figure out if what you are hoping to convey aligns squarely with what you actually drafted. Do select a narrow topic and keep it brief. Pick a narrow topic. Remember, you only have a finite amount of space typically to tell your story. Most personal statements range from two to three pages. Don't rehash your resume. Your resume is a part of the application so that readers know where you've gone to school, where you've worked, where you've volunteered, etc. The resume helps readers know what extracurricular activities you are involved in. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the diversity statement. The diversity statement, personal statement, and optional essay allow you to expand your narrative to include information that cannot be fully captured by other areas of your application. A diversity statement is an optional additional essay that some law schools include in the law school application. The prompt typically asks applicants why diversity is of importance to them and or how they will contribute to the diversity of the law school. Why does it matter? The diversity statement provides an opportunity to again expand upon your narrative. If there is content that isn't sufficiently covered in the other parts of your application that relate to diversity, you can include that content here. Here are some tips that will help you as you prepare your diversity statement. Do make sure the content is not duplicative of that that is included in your personal statement. Make sure the content you are sharing is authentic and integral to the decision-making process. Make sure that you answer the question, so what? Just because someone comes from an economically disadvantaged background or is a person of color, so what? This does not tell the admissions committee how this person meaningfully can contribute to diversity in the law school and or whether diversity is something that is of importance to them. The prompts for the diversity statement vary slightly from school to school. Always read the call of the question closely and proofread multiple times. Now let's talk about optional essays. Some schools offer optional essays. The diversity statement is an example of an optional essay. You can opt in or you can opt out. The challenge with optional essays is that unlike the personal statement and diversity statement, which often have very similar prompts, the optional essay prompts can vary greatly. Some may ask about challenges you have overcome, while others might ask you to write page X of your autobiography. Some students should complete an optional essay and others should not. You should complete an optional essay if you are a strong writer, and have additional meaningful content to share with the committee that is responsive directly to the call of the question. And if you have the time to draft and edit a high quality essay, by all means, do it. If, however, you do not have anything meaningful to add, or you are not a strong writer and you do not have the time to devote to writing an essay, don't. Many of the same principles from the personal statement and diversity statement apply here with respect to proofreading, editing, reading the call of the question, etc. Thank you for watching this presentation. We hope that you'll watch all of the videos in this series. And if you have any additional questions, please reach out to us at diversity at accesslex.org.